Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I was taught throughout my life time and time again by meaningful Christians that I was created in the image of God. In fact, I was taught that we were all created in the image of God. I grew up a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormon Church, and this is what they taught me. But guess what? It is not biblically correct. Have a listen to what this gentleman has to say about it. Now, doesn't the Bible say we're all made in the image of God? No. The Bible tells us that Adam and Eve were made in the image of God. This is Genesis 1:27. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. But then they sinned. They ate the forbidden fruit and the wheels came off for humanity. Romans 5:12 says this. Wherefore, as by one man Adam, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. So everyone born after Adam was not made in the image of God. This is Genesis 5.3. It tells you about the birth of Adam's son, Seth. And listen to whose image he came into the world with. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son, in his own likeness after his Adam's image not the image of God Seth was born in Adam's image image so everyone born after Adam sinned is not born in the image of God they're born in the image of Adam this gentleman is correct but it's even deeper than that to fully grasp the image of God in relation to Adam, you must understand also the creation of Lilith, who is mentioned in the Old Testament once. Adam was made plural, male and female made he them. God made Ha Adam, it says in the Hebrew. Ha Adam in his image and likeness, male and female made he them. There was more than one and they were made from the dust of the earth. This is not Eve. Eve was never called Ha Adam. She was called Isha, spelled I-S-H-A-H -H in the Hebrew text. Look at Strong's Hebrew Concordance. Go back to Genesis. Go back to chapters 2 and 3 and you will see this. As soon as Eve was made, Eve was made from Adam because Adam was alone. Remember, God made Adam in his image and likeness, male and female made he them them plural and then god says it's not good for adam to be alone why because lilith left they had a power struggle adam wanted to always be on top she said and she wanted to be on top of adam and there was a power struggle of who should be on top both adam and lilith were made of the dust of the earth god made ha adam in his image and likeness male and female made he them lilith left she left the garden of eden she wasn't cast out she left now the Lord said, it is not good for Ha Adam to be alone. After he had already made Ha Adam male and female, Lilith left, he's alone. So what does the Lord God do? Causes a sleep to fall upon Adam and he makes Isha, spelt again I-S-H-A-H -H in the Hebrew. And as soon as Isha is made, Adam is called Ish, spelt I-S-H, Ish and Isha. Now, Ha Adam was made in the image of God. That means Adam and Lilith. But Eve, who is called Isha in the Hebrew, it never ever once said that Isha was made in the image of God. It never even said Isha and Isha were made in the image of God. No, only Ha Adam. Adam was made in the image of God. And again, that Lilith came back. She became what we call the old serpent, the devil, that came back and tempted Eve and caused her to partake of the knowledge of good and evil. Now the story of Lilith also goes in the Hebrew that she left the garden and she married what's called Samael. He is Satan and she's the devil and they are Satan and the devil. And she came back, she married Satan, Samael in the Hebrew and came back to tempt Eve and got her to partake and through Eve then Adam, ha Adam, then 
partook and then the fall. Now, again, I want to just bring that to the forefront. It never once said in the story of Genesis that Isha was made in the image of God. The only one that was made in the image of God, the only one and ones were Ha Adam, which was Adam and Lilith. Now, with all that being said, I do want to say that we as Christians are in the image of God. Why? Because it says in the New Testament that Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. He's not in the image. He is the image. And the New Testament also declares about Christians that in him we live, move, and have our being. And Jesus Christ said, abide, which means stay, in me. So we are literally in the image of God.